Hey there, I'm going to show you processing using the new WaveShop for a Jupyter image that was created from a stacked video capture. WaveShop is a brand new solution for processing your images. It's created by the team that brought you Registax and has some really nice features that I'll walk through right now. What I've got here is the um, stacked uh, video file that was saved as a, uh, a TIFF file and then opened up into WaveShop. The first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to start to, start to sharpen um, some of the um, some of the image. So I'm going to go in first and click on this magnifying glass here, just so we can zoom in a little bit and see exactly what's going on as I do some of the sharpening. When it comes to the sharpening, there's three levers here if you will and I'm going to start off on the very first lever to do some fine sharpening and so I'm going to move that all the way to 100 and I'm going to increase the sharpen filter just just by a little bit so let's take it up to about 0.110 and you can see I've started to introduce a little bit of noise here what I'm also going to do on the next one which is sort of coarser sharpening I'm going to move that only to around halfway and again, you can see the noises start to increase, as has some of the details start to emerge as well. And then for the third one, let's just take that about a quarter of the way across. So now we want to go in and use the new denoise tool in WaveShop. So I'm going to click on the denoise tool. Let's minimize the magnifier. And you can see already uh, the denoise tool has kicked into high gear and reduce some of the noise that I introduced. And these levers here, the start, width, and curve, if I move these around, you can see if I move this all the way to the right, that some of that noise starts to uh, reappear just a little bit. And so let's just take this um, just over here to the left, just a small amount, maybe to right about here. And then for the width setting, what I found is, um, I typically have set the width setting number to roughly three times the start number. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So around, let's say around 210. And as you can do that, these curves here um, start to um, come together. And these represent um, the, the level of sharpening, if you will, that we're undertaking. And the curve here, if I move this all the way to the left here, you can see some of that noise start to reappear. So I'm just gonna move this back in uh, roughly to about uh, about here so you've got sort of like a, a nice separation of the two lines here so I can also toggle uh, the noise and denoise so if I turn it off you can see the noise starts to come back and we'll turn it back on and then we'll minimize now the next thing we want to do is let's let's just check on the color settings uh, in Jupiter and to do that there is a histogram tool here that I'm going to click on and bring up the histogram and you can see here that basically um, I can go ahead and um, calculate the RGB balance but the first thing I need to do is I need to go in and make sure the region of interest or ROI so I'm clicking and dragging uh, to bring these in here um, to get the, a more accurate representation of the uh, of the color settings so now if I go ahead and set this to ROI you can see the color very subtly changed and I'll do a recalculate and then I'm gonna move the saturation over just a little bit maybe to around the the 45,000 part just to bring out a little bit of color and then same thing for the luminance just to stretch it just a little bit not too much because we don't want to blow out any details and so for this Jupiter processing using WaveShop, those are some of the basic steps that you can undertake. There's many, many other features. Uh, I've included the link to the download of WaveShop 2, along with a link to all of the documentation, and you can play around with it for yourself. Thank you very much.